Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This your big homie Jared. You're rocking with the Retro Insider YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out the content. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. I think you'll like what we have on the channel. I do a lot of unboxings, mainly New Balance, but every now and then I do some Nikes, Jordans, and some other little brands there. But uh, yeah, today we have a Air Max 90, and this is the Hyper Great joint. Um, still hadn't released in men's sizes in the U.S. As you can see, it's a U.K. Uh, tag here i was able to get this from in clothing and um i thought nike wasn't shipping from internationally to the u.s but i guess some retailers either get a pass so they just saying forget that rule i don't know if you can let me know how all that is working out um <laughs> i'm just glad i was able to get it so anyways air max 90 celebrates the 30th anniversary of its silhouette this year in 2020 originally released back in 1990 um, you know, the last video I did was on the Volt colorway, the OG Volt colorway, which is a really dope sneaker. And this one right here is dope, if I do say so myself. So, one thing about this shoe is the remastered shape or the shape that goes back to the original. Uh, the paneling is a little bit different. The materials, I guess, are a little bit different as well. This black part right here is a lot thinner on this remastered OG cut as opposed to the regular retro cut where it's a lot thicker so it ends up becoming a better shape in my opinion but uh i'll let you be the judge of that so let me just give you a quick look around now this video is going to be different than what i usually do it is freezing and wet so i can't go outside and do my uh normal shots right now but i did want to get this video out just so you guys can see what the shoe look like and uh, as far as the materials, I think one of the things that you see, of course, is this smooth leather. Not great by any means, but not bad. Then we have this, <laughs> I'm not even going to call it new buck because it really feels like felt. But it's gray up here. Then we have this nice plush mesh up here on the toe box. And uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to materials. Um, comfortable shoe. Comfortable shoe. I remember having a pair of Air Max 90s, my first pair back in high school, had the black snakeskin joints, and that ended up being my everyday shoe simply because it was so comfortable. And of course, the colorway was easy to wear. I didn't pick up the, the uh, pair that they retro, but I missed out on it. But anyways, insole here is purple. On the tongue, we got some more uh kind of it's not mesh it's like a nylon type material and we have this nike air max tag so yeah dope shoe retail for 120 um i think i paid a little bit more simply because it was coming from the uk in clothing does a great job of shipping man they stuff comes in like two days comes a lot faster than some of the retailers here in the u.s so shout out to them for that um one thing i did notice is this this uh plastic pieces all colored a little bit differently as you can see that's almost looks like a blue and then this one is like a purple down here by the airbag and the airbag looks kind of cloudy i did not notice that uh so yeah nike i don't know y'all got the really the og look on this airbag it look like it is from 1990 but anyways uh yeah tell me if y'all can see that color difference right there I don't know if I'm colorblind or I'm just tripping. No, it is a color difference. And this Nike definitely in the same color as this purple on the inside of the tongue, right? So I don't know. That's cool. I mean, it ain't a deal breaker, nothing like that. But just want to give you some details on the shoe. Now, let's pull out the other one. See the little extra hang tag that comes with it. I like this special touch. I don't know if this came with the original pair back in 1990. But it kind of gives you that nostalgic feel with that hang tag. Once again, take it off. Take this off when you wear it. Ain't no sense in having this on your shoes, walking around clanking. But um, yeah. Then of course, what's also included in the box: a pair of anatomical arch supports that you can install in your shoes if you want to. Um, I remember putting these in whenever I had my pairs back in the day. But um, I know a lot of people have been talking about this box. I mean, it's cool. It looks good. Um, kind of reminiscent of the OG box. But all the shoes come in this same size. So when you get your shoes and you have a larger size, don't expect the shoes to come out looking okay. They look smashed in like this. See how this one's smashed in? So, yeah, that's the way these box boxes are coming. Very small. But doesn't really take away from the shoe 
once you put it on your feet, it'll fill out, fill itself out. But uh, anyways, I was able to get this from In Clothing. Be on the lookout here in the U.S. for when the men's pairs drop here. Hopefully they do. I don't know when. Don't know. Um, the women's, I think the women's pairs already dropped. But uh, yeah, here it is, guys. So um, in the show's description, don't forget there will be a link to the official post for this shoe. And uh, don't forget to follow the Retro Insider Instagram, Twitter, at the Retro Insider. And uh, until next time, y'all take care. Stay humble and proceed.